What's up guys, my name is Corey. Welcome to Rosemary Media. Today, I'm going to be doing a prediction video of sorts. Just today, I'm recording this on February 20th of 2020, there was the Animal Crossing Nintendo Direct and all those leaks were out there that were saying that in the month of February, we were going to get two Directs. Um, everybody assumed that meant that we were going to get the Animal Crossing Direct and then the General Direct that told us all the stuff that we're going to be expecting in 2020. So we've got the Animal Crossing Direct. That was fantastic. Can't wait for that game. So excited for it. Makes sense that that one would go first because had it not, had they just done a general direct and not address um, Animal Crossing first, people would have been up in arms wondering where the information is about that game, wondering if it had been delayed. It would have been a whole thing. So do that one first, get that game out of the way. Everything you need to know is here. The game's ready to go in one month. Now let's talk about the rest of 2020. Now, the things I'm going to be talking about today, I'm not saying that all of these things are going to happen. That's impossible. If everything that I'm about to list actually happened in one Direct, then we wouldn't ever need another Nintendo Direct because this is everything we need. I'm saying this is all the things that are possible. So pick from this list, maybe five of them could be true, maybe 10, maybe 15, I don't know. But these are all things that I think are possible that we could see. I got 20 things here, so let's go. Number one address the elephant in the room, I guess. There's that rumor floating around that there is a Paper Mario game that's going to be coming out this year. Sure, I believe it. It's been a long time since you've had one of those games. Um, we've got the 3D Mario, we've got the side-scrolling Mario um, in Odyssey and in Maker, so uh, let's do something different. They like mixing up the Mario franchise as much as possible, so this feels like what could be next. Number two, alongside that rumor, we also got word that there was going to be a 2D Metroid game coming out this year as well. Again, I believe that. That Metroid remake that came out a couple years ago on 3DS, that's, that was more than a couple. That was like three, four years ago at this point. I don't know. I didn't have a 3DS at the time. I, I, didn't, I didn't fuck with that. But it feels right. Um, it's been a long time since you've had a Metroid game. Metroid Prime 4 is a ways off. God knows when that's coming since they just restarted production on it last year. Yeah, it's been exactly a year now. So maybe they want to fill that void. They want to get a Metroid game out there in the time being. This feels right. Number three, another way to get the Metroid name out there is the long, long rumored and hoped for Metroid Prime Trilogy coming to Switch. This is one of those things that a lot of people have said, this is done. This game exists, this game is ready to be released, but they're holding it for some reason. That reason is because Metroid Prime 4 isn't ready to be released yet. Since they had to restart production, like I just said, maybe they wanna wait and release the trilogy closer to when that's going to be. You know, release the trilogy a year before Metroid Prime 4 is going to actually be releasing. That way it's fresh in their minds, they're not gonna beat it now and then have to wait three, four years for four, tie them closer together, so it makes sense as to why that one has been on the back burner for so long. Number four, let's talk about a couple ports. Um, first up, Pikmin 3. There's also been a lot of talk that Pikmin 4 is done, but then there were some production issues with that one too. I don't know if they switched developers on it. There was a whole thing going on with that game as well. All I know is maybe that's not quite ready yet. And in the meantime, to get the Pikmin name out there, to reintroduce people to that franchise, let's do Pikmin 3 Deluxe. It'd be a really, really inexpensive way to get the name back out there again. Just port the game over and it paves the way for Pikmin 4 whenever they do decide to release that. Probably 2021, I don't know. Number five, another port, Super Mario 3D World. This was one of my favorite games on the Wii U. At one point, this was the only game I owned on the Wii U because whenever people came over, I just like to jump in, do like a four player co-op. The game's fantastic. And if there isn't a new Mario game coming out until maybe the second half of this year, then this seems primed to come out sometime this spring to hold people over. Number six, a game that I've been talking about since the Switch was announced, and that's Super Mario Golf. We need a golf game on the Nintendo Switch. We need specifically a Mario Golf game. We got tennis last year. Sure, there could be uh, Mario Sluggers. I'd like to see baseball come back as well, but golf seems to make the most sense because of the Joy-Con. You can release accessories with them, and most of all, they're just their motion controls. Just like we had the golf game on the Wii, this makes sense. To be able to play with the controller as it is, you can hold events, you can do tournaments, do all that stuff, but also have a mode just like there was in tennis where we can use those motion controls to swing the club. Turns it into a great party game. I think it would do fantastic and I think it's time. 
Number seven, this may be a little early, but I think Super Mario Odyssey 2 is absolutely a thing. The same way they did Galaxy on the Wii, the time between them was only like two, three years. You already have that world created, you already have everything set up to make the sequel, so why not do it? Odyssey was very, very successful, people loved it, so to do a second one in that same vein with just a bunch of different worlds makes perfect sense. Another game that came out in 2017, the same year the Switch came out, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We know Breath of the Wild 2 is a thing now. Um, they announced that at E3 last year. Will it come out this year? I'm not so sure. There was a certain time where I thought that it was, but now I think a different game is our big fall game for this year. So I think this may be a 2021 thing. But regardless, maybe they'll wanna brush us up on some info on it. Maybe they don't. Maybe they wanna save that for E3. I'm not sure, but we'll definitely see some more soon. And a third game that would be a sequel to a game released back in 2017 when the Switch launched, Splatoon. Um, I think it's time for Splatoon 3. Splatoon 2 was very, very successful, especially in Japan. They ended all of the Splatfests that they were doing. Support for that game seems to be done. No more DLC coming out for it. Let's move on to Splatoon 3. And I think, honestly, they're gonna go Battle Royale mode in this one. Um, not as the main mode, obviously. They're gonna, the game's gonna be as traditional as it's always been. Some upgrades, obviously, but Battle Royale, I think, is a thing that they're gonna look at to do in the third version. Number 10 is Bayonetta 3. I'm not really a fan of the Bayonetta franchise. I've never actually played one ever. Um, but it's so time that we hear more about this game. I believe it was the Game Awards, not last year, but the year before, that it was announced that this game was a thing, but we haven't heard anything about it since, so let's do it. Number 11, I just wrote down an extreme sports game. Um, we've got Wave Race, uh, 1080 Snowboarding, all these franchises that have been dormant from Nintendo that I think are ready to peer their little heads out again. Wave Race would be a great game to have in the summer. It would look fantastic on the Switch. 1080 Snowboarding, there isn't a snowboarding game on the Switch right now. Steep was supposed to be released on the Switch back, I think, in 2017, but it never did. It got canceled for some reason. I honestly think the developers are working on Steep 2. I think that's gonna get announced at E3 this year. So we're lacking a snowboarding game, and I think 1080 snowboarding would be fantastic on the Switch, and I hope they're working on it. Number 12 is a retro game. A year ago, like we talked about earlier, they took on Metroid Prime 4. Developers were switched on that game, Retro took it over, but what were they working on before that? We don't know. Whether they split teams up and started a new group on Metroid Prime 4 and left the old team finishing up whatever they had been working on, that seems plausible, but what is that game? I think it's a new Donkey Kong game. We got the port of Tropical Freeze. That did really well. People love that game. I think it's time that we get the Donkey Kong version of what Super Mario Odyssey was. Just a love letter to the franchise, some side scrolling, some 3D, uh, maybe even throw it back to the original Donkey Kong and like the Game Boy and arcade cabinets where you play as Mario and climb up and he's throwing the barrels down at you. Somehow throw all of those together and create just the ultimate Donkey Kong game. I hope that's what it was. Number 13, if that's not what Retro is working on, then let's say Star Fox Grand Prix. That's been a rumor for a long, long time. That's a game that exists. It's a racing game in the Star Fox universe. And sure, all, all the leaks that I read about what that game is or is supposed to be sound awesome. I'm so in for it. So if that's what it was instead of the Donkey Kong game, sure, let's have it. Number 14, I think, is something from Ubisoft. Nintendo handed over Mario to them to make Mario Plus Rabbids, handed over Star Fox to them when they worked on Starlink, which had that, you know, the big inclusion of Star Fox and all the ships and all the stuff. So it seems like that partnership is great and things are going well, so I would not be surprised if we got something else from them. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I think Mario Plus Rabbids 2 is a good assumption because that game did really well, so that might be it. Number 15, Snipper Clips 2. This game was wildly successful. It was a launch game on the Switch and I love it. They released DLC on it, but it's been nothing since. I think a sequel to this, $20 in the eShop again, everybody that bought the original plus everybody that's gotten a Switch since that doesn't even know about this game will pick it up. Snipper Clips is fantastic and it only makes sense to keep that series going. Number 16 is either the Mother Collection or an Earthbound remaster. And I know people have been talking about this forever, Reggie's sick of hearing it, but my reasoning is 
that the SNES Classic games are out, they're on Nintendo Switch Online, but that game is lacking and it makes no sense. There's no reason as to why that game should not be a part of that other than they don't want to throw it on there because it's going to be part of this other release that they have planned. I don't care which one it is. I don't care if it's the Mother Collection. I don't care if it's Earthbound or Remastered or a Remake. I don't care about any of that as long as it comes out in some capacity at all. Number 17 is Rare Replay. The Xbox Nintendo partnership is strong, and I think that Rare Replay is gonna make its way over all of those old games, Banjo-Kazooie, but I think with this version, you're gonna get the Donkey Kong games as well. Diddy Kong Racing, all of those. Number 18, Kingdom Hearts on Switch. They're all on Xbox now, not exclusive to PlayStation. I think they have to come to Switch. It really, really makes sense. I don't see why Disney wouldn't want that. I don't see why Square wouldn't want that. And while they're at it, put Sora and Super Smash Brothers. I did read one leak that said that Disney was approached about that and they weren't interested, but I don't know if I believe that. This may be an E3 announcement if it is true. Either way, I wanna call it now. Number 19, another one that I wanna call right now just in case, is the Master Chief Collection coming to the Nintendo Switch. Again, the Nintendo and Xbox partnership is really, really good. And if anything, putting Master Chief Collection on the Switch is just gonna open people's eyes to, wow, Halo was great, I love Halo. And they're gonna look over at the Xbox side of things and say, huh, the Series X is coming out this holiday season with Halo Infinite, which is probably gonna be the best Halo game ever. So why not put the collection there on the Switch to build all the buzz around your new game and your new system that's coming out. While they're at it, Master Chief in Super Smash Brothers. I think that one is absolutely one of the characters that are in the Fighter Pass 2, and I think the perfect way to line this up is to announce Master Chief Collection, and then somehow do this little trailer thing, and then throw him in a, yeah, 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 you know, the whole Nintendo thing that they do that ends up being Master Chief in Smash as well. Everybody wins in this scenario. Xbox wins, Nintendo wins, we win. I don't know if both of these are gonna happen. I don't, I don't see a world where I'm gonna get sore and Master Chief. I also want Spyro and Crash, by the way. I'm not calling those yet, though. I think we're a long ways away from getting all these Smash announcements. The two that I just announced, the Kingdom Hearts and the Halo one, I truly think that those are more E3 announcements. I don't see them happening here, but I just want to call them in case. Number 20, last but definitely not least, I mentioned earlier in this video that I think that I know what the fall game for Nintendo is going to be if Breath of the Wild is not ready, and that is a new Mario Kart. Whether that's Mario Kart 9 or some sort of reboot of the franchise, since it's been so long since we got Mario Kart 8, since Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was just a port, they've been working on this thing in silent for a very, very long time, and it's going to focus more on Nintendo as a whole, or more on video games as a whole. Think Super Smash Brothers, but in Mario Kart. They started to do that with the last one, with the inclusion of Link and the different tracks and stuff, and I think this one is just gonna go full on everything about Nintendo and make it the best kart racer that we can possibly get. Tons of characters, tons of tracks, tons of different features and different modes, and everybody that's going to buy it. Literally everybody that owns a Nintendo Switch, I mean, not everybody, let's say 75, 80, 90, I don't know. The majority of people that own a Switch will buy this game. It'll be the best-selling thing this holiday season. Nintendo doesn't need to care that if there's a new Xbox coming out, that there's a new PlayStation coming out, because they will have Mario Kart, and that's all they need to sell millions and millions of copies in more Switches and Switch Lights and whatever the hell else they do. So that's it, guys. So 20 things that it's possible that I think Nintendo announces this year. Some may happen on the Direct that we're hoping is just a week away. But let me know down in the comments what some predictions you have for Nintendo in 2020 or the Direct that's coming up, and let's have some fun with it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel here. We are Rosemary Media. You can find us at www.rosemary.media. Listen to some podcasts, watch some more videos, read some articles, and follow us on all of our social media at, at RSMRY Media. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time.